laptop troubleshooting training course. So the troubleshooting is the process of finding the cause behind a failure. It does not mean solving the problem, but it means identifying the cause of the problem. So as you can see here, this is the troubleshooting process. So the first process is analyzing, testing, deduction, elimination, isolation, identifying, and fixing. So we use this process in order to fix or to repair any hardware problem. Here, I speak about the laptop motherboard. So to fix the laptop motherboard, you should first analyze it. You should do a visual inspection. Then you should do some testing using the multimeter. Of course, you can, for example, do a short circuit testing. You can test some components, some MOSFETs, diodes, capacitors, etc. Then the deduction, and then you will eliminate some component and some circuit, then isolation, identifying, and fixing. So we have two types of logical isolation inclusion mode and exclusion mode. So inclusion mode is based on the analysis and diagnosis of a workstation or a major component within a group of components. So for example, here, as you can see, here we have the chain or the process. We have A, B, C, D. This is four components, for example. So in the inclusion mode, we will focus on the major component, the D. In our example here, D is number four means the laptop. If we have the problem here, we should focus on the laptop. This is for inclusion mode. But for the exclusion mode, as you can see, exclusion mode is based on the analysis and diagnosis of components of a set except for the main component. So we will focus here in this, as you can see, in this component except the main component. Here we have the main component. So we will check the power source, the power cable and the power adapter. And then here we will use another laptop to check whether this laptop is bad or not this is the exclusion mode okay but for the inclusion mode we will base it or focus on checking this the laptop 